What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel, and we are taking a look at the Italian League Guardians today. Why are these videos so compressed, man? It's so weird every time. But anyway, we do have Maldini, we have Bargomi, and of course we have Aldair. All of these are going to be boosters. They're going to be getting a boost to their defense, strength, and speed stats, right? So we're going to go through them in detail. I'm going to show you my recommended builds, and then of course we are going to be live streaming later, opening a couple and testing them out if we do get them. So hopefully that we will. Maldini is probably the top draw, right? Obviously, he's the biggest name. He's the biggest kind of like, um, you know, like person that you're going to try want to get, like the most popular player. But I do think that Bergomi is the main man in this. And we'll get into that in a second, right? Aldair as well is, is a quite decent player. Uh, I remember this guy briefly. I mean, obviously, everyone knows Maldini. Everyone understands that Maldini was one of the best center backs of all time, one of the best defenders of all time. But I do think that Aldair and Bergomi both have a place in this game now, especially with where the meta is gone. Now, lads, I would love to see these classic kits be part of these players, that you spin for the player, if you get them, they come out in their classic kit, and then you're able to unlock them once you have them in your squad. You know that you're able to use the kit once you have these players in your squad, right? But anyway, that's another day's story, okay? There's a lot of stuff that I'd like to see added. But yeah, Bergomi, I think, is going to be kind of, I won't say a hidden gem, uh, because everyone is obviously, you know, the spotlight is on him, uh, but I do think that he could be one of the best players that has been released, you know, recently. I mean, because at the moment, the meta, if you look at my squad, the meta is all about, like, fast, mobile right midfielders or right backs that can play as a right back, such as Juan Saka, who's one of the best defensive players in the game, or Danilo, or somebody like that. We will also get into the rest of this pack in another video, probably in the live stream, and then just strip it down and see what we think of the rest of the players in this pack here. But I'll keep this short and sweet with the three boys, right? There's, this is the rest of the selection in this for the Guardians, okay? So the first up player, first player that we're going to look at is actually going to be Aldair, okay? We'll leave Maldini for a second because this guy is your traditional destroyer. And this is where the game's meta has gone at the moment. And you can see this very, very clearly, right? So most of the center backs that they're releasing now, they have every stat or every player skill apart from one or two things that they use to balance the card, right? Not to make them have everything. Now, there are exceptions to the rule, but I do feel like Aldair as a destroyer, he's got blocker, interception, area superiority, acrobatic clearance, sliding tackle, fighting spirit, man marking. He also has um, low lofted pass and heading. Now, the one thing that he doesn't have here is something that if you are used to playing um, like one touch pass with your center backs, I know a lot of people swear by this is by playing with one touch pass center backs or throwing on one touch pass so that you can literally just get the ball rid of because there is a little bit of an unresponsive issue um, sometimes with the center backs, especially Van Dijk, he's notorious for it, that he'll take a touch when you don't want him to take a touch. But you'll notice that the, the meta kind of now at the moment, right, I've, it's something that I've looked at quite a bit and I will be doing a video on it. It's, it's soon ready to go. But you'll see that most of the destroyers, right, are going to have defensive stats. There are going to be one or two defensive stats that you really have to boost up, right, Where, while, while the rest of them will go in. So most of, the, most of the players now that are really popular in the game are going to be, like, really fast, which you see with the speed there, and also have three, if not all, of their defensive stats into the 90s, right? So when we go over here to eFootball DB. We're going to show you Aldair's build that we've gone for. So it's 11 into lower body. You've gotten 5 into aerial strength, 12 into defending, and we've just popped 1 into goalkeeper 1 to get that jump up. So with the boost, right, and with the manager boost, we're actually going to be getting a fairly beastly player here, right? We're going to be looking at getting his speed as high as possible. We are going to max that out with 11 into lower body. That's going to boost up our speed before we even get any boost to this card, right? We are going to be getting the boost to acceleration, defensive awareness, tackling, and jump. So that's going to be our plus two booster. And then, of course, we're going to be getting the manager plus two booster as well, right? So with this card here, we can actually mess around with this a little bit because of if we are going to be getting the booster uh, with the manager, okay, which we'll see here, if we are going to be getting the booster to the manager, we actually only need to go to uh, 83 speed, which is 10 into lower body, right? And then we can pop up that into dexterity. We want to have him a little bit more mobile. We're going to be getting a plus four booster to that. The two plus booster for his booster card. And then obviously the plus two for the manager, right? So that's going to give us, you know, well past 75 at 76. Well, not well past, but 76 rated there. He's still going to have the 80, 80 what, 87 speed. Once your speed is over 85, that's all you really need. And then his defensive stats, everything is going to be over 90. So that's all you need with this card along with the player skills, right? 
Bergomi is going to follow a similar path, right? So Bergomi is one of the players that I think is definitely the pick of him, the pick of the box, right? And that is surprising to me because I think this that, that Maldini, who will leave to last, right? Maldini is quite a disappointing player, lads, and I'll tell you why, right? So when you're training up Bergomi here, right, he's going to be getting a boost to his speed from for a plus two and a manager boost. So he's going to have acceleration at plus five. His speed, if you are using Ten Hag, right, and you give him a seven into lower body, so his build is 5 into passing, 6 into dribbling, 7 into dexterity and lower body, 6 into aerial strength, 11 into defending, and just 1 into the goalkeeper 1, just to get his jump up there if you want to, because if you get the booster to that, you don't have to, but you have a point left over. He's going to have, with Ten Hag, 90 speed. All of his defensive stats are going to be into the 90s, right? So as a right back, a defensive right back, this guy is going to have, you know, 85 physical contact, uh, nearly 90 stamina, 90 speed, acceleration is going to be 85. His jump and balance are going to be very, very solid, right? And then his, all his defensive stats are going to be ridiculously into the into the 90s, right? So this is kind of going to shake up the meta of the right-back meta, I would say. Because at the moment, wan Basaka, in my opinion, or Tommy Yashu were the best. Then you look at his, his stats, right? So this is what I'm talking about with Bergomi, right? And these type of players that don't actually have it all. That you need to put a little bit of time into them. Bergomi doesn't have blocker right, he doesn't have acrobatic clearance, he doesn't have aerial superiority, he does have interception, man marking, and sliding tackle of fighting spirit, but he doesn't have pinpoint crossing if you want to make him a little bit more attacking, right, I would not recommend to use Bergomi as an attacking option, I always like to keep my right back, because most people usually defend from, or attack from left to right, I don't know why it is, I usually do it as well, I like to cut in, maybe it's because you can see more of the screen with the, the fall camera, um, and you always kind of go to the left and gravitate towards that, and then center, right, so center, so do try that, but I definitely think with his booster, he is a decent card, it's not an like end game, like, you know, that you'll never upgrade this position card again, because I do think that you will need to get a bit of luck with his additional skills, but when you compare him to Maldini, who we'll show here, I think Maldini is a very disappointing card, uh, card, lads. I'm actually quite disappointed with this Maldini card. I had huge hopes that this guy was going to be the meta breaker, um, the breaker of chains, right? I, I thought he was going to be a beast. Now, this is just dependent on whether you... I'd, I would be very disappointed with him if I was to just view Maldini as, uh, you know, his stats. And trust me, if anyone has played with Messi recently, some of the Messi cards have been completely nerfed into the ground. There is kind of like little buffs and boosts and nerfs and, you know, decreases in some of the players' performances on the pitch, right? Even with bad touches, you know, misses in front of goal, there is kind of like hidden buffs every now and again and hidden kind of nerfs, right? So I do think that Maldini is going to be an absolute monster. He's got every player skill that you could possibly want on a defender as a center back to lead the line. Plus he's down as a destroyer. So it means that you can play a very, very good defensive destroyer, right? That is still going to get all the stats that you could possibly want with that 85 speed definitely available to you as well, right? So if we go over to Maldini's build, it's actually one into dribbling, 12 into lower body, seven into area strength, and nine into defending with two into goalkeeper one. That'll give us a boost to the jump as well. Now we can kind of mess around with this build a little bit, right? His defensive awareness, tackling, acceleration, and jump are all going to be getting a plus four. That means that you're going to have 85 physical contact and 90 jump. It means you're going to have with 10 hag, you're going to have 88 speed here if you want to. You don't really need 88 speed. Once you have 10 hag, you can actually limit that to 82 there with only 9 into lower body, right? Or else you can pop that into one more if you don't have 10 hag, right? But if you have 10 hag here, you can actually pop this in here. Um... And that'll mean that you only have 9 into lower body, you have 7 into aerial strength, you already have your defensive awareness and all of that stuff, but as a destroyer, I think the big key to this is going to be this build, is another tree into his aggression, right? That is going to max out your defensive awareness and tackling at 97 and 98 respectively, your aggression is going to be at 94, and of course your defensive engagement is going to be at 98, he's also going to have 85 speed. I know people will say that, you know, an extra level or two into Maldini, if he was level 30, he would have been an absolute beast. There's no doubt about it. I think he would have been an, like probably the best card in the game because Maldini is unbelievable at the moment in terms of his old big time card. If you have his old big time card, lads, I genuinely don't think that this guy is worth it. That's just me being 100% legit. I don't think that it's worth spinning, right? I would say save the coins unless you have your heart set on getting a new contract Maldini with Bergomi as an add-in bonus if you want to clear the agent. But I definitely think that this Maldini, I don't have 
anyone but the old legend Maldini, who only had like, what, eight levels. So this guy is going to be a massive upgrade for me, especially that you can train him. You can train him multiple different ways. You don't need to go that high on the defending if you don't want to, and you can go really high on the lower body strength if you wanted to go like that. If you wanted to keep him there, you could have, you know, 90 speed or 88 speed or whatever, 89 speed. There's lots of ways that you could train him. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of Maldini. Slightly disappointed with him. He's 35 years old, Maldini. Slightly disappointed with him. But I do feel as well that he will be a monster on the pitch. And we're going to find that out later. But let me know your thoughts, lads. That's the guy that I would go with for him. It's a pity he only has 27 levels. But if he had any more, I think he would have been up into the Araujo, Tommy Yashu kind of broken style uh, players. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Are you going to spin or skip? And I will see you in the live stream in about an hour and a bit. Peace.